<laughs> All right, guys, the reviews for Jetpack Joyride 2 are in. And let me tell you, they are glowing, to say the least. It's been called a truly magnificent spectacle of a game. Uh, possibly the greatest thing to ever happen to mobile gaming. That 12 out of 10. I mean, these are, these are just some of the things that I've said about it. Uh, I haven't haven't read any actual reviews, but you get the point. Jetpack Joyride 2, it's great. And if you're still waiting for it to arrive in your region, I am sorry. It is on its way, guys. I can't give you any more specific release date info at this stage. But what I can do is direct your attention to Jetpack Joyride 1, the original OG Jetpack Joyride, guys. It's getting a St. Patrick's Day event. That's pretty good. You could argue that it's even better than having access to Jetpack Joyride 2. I mean, I certainly wouldn't argue that, but it's still pretty great, guys. You got you got some pretty awesome looking exclusive jetpacks in this one. The Sir Einhorn jetpack, which is a unicorn, of course. Uh, the Pot of Gold jetpack, nice and Irish, of course. And the, uh, the Golden Rainbow jetpack. And the Potato jetpack. <laughs> uh, nah, I just... I just made that last one up, but but do grab yourselves a potato and get amongst this event. My friends got some cool skins, new costumes, the Celtic Teleporter, which is uh, <laughs> another name for when you have a big night on the Guinness and wake up somewhere completely unfamiliar. Uh, super fun anyway, guys, and fitting, of course, because March 17th is St. Patrick's Day. We love, we love St. Patty's Day. It's the Irish day held in honor of St. Patrick. The patron saint of Ireland, but embraced the world over because we humans in general seem to like dressing in green and wearing those leprechaun hats. So, look, we all we all know about St. Patrick's Day, obviously, but the question on everyone's mind this week is, what else has happened historically on March 17th? Steak fries? Well, that is an outstanding question, my steak fans. So here is a couple of things of interest that I dug up. For instance, 1991, March 17th, Martin Scorsese wins a BAFTA award for his film Goodfellas. There you go. I bet you didn't know that that happened on that day, did you? Yeah. Uh, what about this one? 2014, on the 17th of March, Sia releases her hit song, Chandelier. Great tune, and if you listen to it backwards, it contains a secret, happy St. Patrick's Day message. Don't don't go and play it backwards to find out if that's true. Just just trust me. It totally is. Uh, here's a good one. 17th of March, 1957. The Dutch ban on Sunday driving is lifted. Yeah. Apparently before 1957, you weren't allowed to drive on a Sunday in the Netherlands. Um, although, let's be honest, if you're out celebrating St. Patrick's Day in the, uh, well, the, the way people like to celebrate it these days, you probably shouldn't be driving anyway. Um, alright, here you go. March 17th, 1913, the Uruguayan Air Force is founded. Go Uruguay, you've got an Air Force now. Great stuff. Uh, and finally, 45 BC, March 17th, his last ever victory, Julius Caesar defeats the Pompeian forces of Titus Labinius. I'll bet that you didn't know that, but now you do. If it ever comes up in some kind of St. Patrick's Day related quiz, you'll be right. Um, anyway, that was all pretty interesting. Let's get to some comments. Uh, Retro Pichu says, when will Jetpack Joyride 2 come to Mexico and other Latin American countries? Thanks Retro, I know that there is a lot of you guys hanging out for Jetpack Joyride 2 release date in your country so just sit tight guys for retro picture and for everyone who's asked about it in the comments this week because there was a lot of you it'll be coming real soon and as the old saying goes a day spent in wait is a day spent great yep definitely a saying very steak fries um what else we got this week marie says i'm watching this episode inside my mum's car Right now, that's pretty awesome, Marie. I've often said that the best place to watch the Barry Steak Fries vlog is either in your mum's car 
or anywhere else. So thanks to Marie and thanks to anyone else who's watching in their mum's car or their dad's car or a stranger's car or just anywhere. I love it. Love it all. Good on you guys. One more comment this week from a really red spy. It says, hey Barry, have you ever eaten radioactive lasagna? Whoa, that's a good question, Red Spy. I've never been asked that before. Look, I can't say for sure that it was radioactive. It, it had been in my fridge for a really long time, possibly years, I'm not quite sure, but I was, I was really hungry, man, and it didn't taste too bad, if I'm honest. Um, but I did get the feeling that it may have turned radioactive because after I um, <coughs> went to the, uh, used the bathroom, uh, it was, uh, well, it was glowing green there in the bowl. Uh, I've probably overshared a bit, but look, it was a nice St. Patrick's Day green. <laughs> there you go, I've tied it back in to the theme of the event. St. Patrick's Day, yes, Barry Steak Fries. There you go, happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody. Enjoy the event and I'll catch you guys real soon.